Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility because it's Wednesday. Of course, it is new review day here on the channel. Here, uh, we're going to be taking a look at an album that's actually been out for a number of months. This came out in the summer of 2023. Only got sent to us recently, so we're playing a little catch up uh, from uh, progrock.com records, home of Unitopia, the guitarist from Unitopia, John Greenwood, Dark Blue. John's playing all guitars on here, doing lead vocals. He's got a crew helping him out, which I'll talk about in a minute. Let's take a look at the uh, artwork and stuff. For some reason, I always have issues getting this pulled out. There we go. Some pretty stunning visuals here, actually. You know, full lyrics. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So, who's playing on this, you might ask? A whole host of people, right? So, like I mentioned, uh, so, of course, like I said, John is the guitarist of Unitopia, the great Australian prog rock band. We reviewed their latest very recently. Uh, his colleague in Unitopia, Sean Timms, is also here on keyboard. You've got uh, Nick Sinclair on bass, Ben Todd on drums, uh, who else? Sarah Greenwood on violin. Oh, just want to make sure. Nicola Black on flute. Mike Giuffreda on drums. There's various people on here. Just want to make sure I don't forget anybody. Let's see. Thomas Martin on cellos. The great Craig Blundell on drums also plays on this. Uh, Julian Ferraretto on violin. Who else? Anybody who I'm forgetting? Steve Unruh on flutes. Uh, let's see. I think I got just about everybody. I hope I didn't forget anybody. Anyway, um, brand new album. It's a long one. It's almost 70 minutes long. Uh, so there's a lot of music here. Progressive rock, of course. Um, lyrically, this is some pretty heavy stuff. And, you know, might be a little difficult for some to kind of take in because it basically, this talks a lot about topical, relative topics of the last four years, right? Uh, a lot about, you know, COVID-19, a lot about government oppression, a lot about freedom of speech, a lot about, you know, people not being kind to each other, a lot about selfishness, a lot a lot of the terrible things that have been going on in the world over the last, you know, three to five years are being covered here. So it's, you know, when you stop and, you know, and again, I'm not a big lyric guy. I don't generally sit down and go through the lyrics, but I can plainly, as I'm listening to this album, I can plainly hear what's being discussed, you know. Uh, but musically, it's a lot of fun. To me, it's a really long album uh, that I think could have been shortened up a little bit, but I think there's some really, it's, production is really good. Uh, the guitar playing is outstanding. Nice use of keyboards. And I'll say John in spots seems proves to be a pretty pretty good vocalist, too. Love the female vocals on the album as well, too. So uh, a little piece of Roscoe Vidal is the opening epic track. That's probably lyrically the heaviest album on, the, on this particular set. Um, but musically, a lot going on here. Uh, very, very cool stuff. Too Late is fun. Then you got a little reprise. I like The Ocean. That's a really nice song. You got Requiem is very cool. Uh, Heartless, Inside, Packing My Suitcase, kind of like this little bluesy guitar thing. I'm not really crazy about that. Uh, you got The Kiss, little orchestrated piece. There's, there's a couple kind of, for me, a couple kind of filler tracks. But what's really, I mean, does a really nice version of Afterglow by Genesis on here, uh, which, you know, is highlighted by acoustic guitar. Absolutely lovely. A proper song is like the last track on here, and that's dynamite as well. And that's kind of like, I listen to a proper song, and that's kind of like, it's more of like a pop, like a yacht rock type thing with proggy touches on it. I love the little thing where he goes, he plays like these cool little guitar solos and then the lyrics talking about how, you know, you get to a certain age, we know you can play guitar, you don't have to show off and include guitar solos just to include guitar solos. I mean, a lot of the, the lyrics in, on this album are just like kind of really stopping. You listen to them and it's like, ah, you know, that's kind of true or yeah, that sucks. And so, you know, I get it. So, and it, what's interesting is 
Uh, there's a little forward to the album from a very special guest. Uh, it is a pleasure for me to write a forward for this fascinating project. Nick Greenwood's album is a feast of lush and varied music covering a wide palette of sounds and genres with thought-provoking lyrics. I recommend it to all curious and adventurous listeners, written by none other than Steve Hackett. And uh, Nick Magnus also helped out, I believe, with the production and uh, thing of engineering of this album as well. I believe that's what I saw him doing on there. Let me double check. Hold on, because I know I did see his his name on here. Uh, let's see. Where was that? Um, uh, all tracks mixed and produced by Sean Timms. Okay. Uh, Nick Magnus appears courtesy of Magic Nuns Records. Okay, so he's got... Maybe he plays on a couple tracks. Maybe there were. So I know he had something to do with the arranging of some of this stuff or whatever. Maybe he, uh, he lends his talents to it. There's, there's so many people listed on here, and the, the writing is so microscopic, it's kind of hard to read it all. But, um, but yeah, so I enjoyed... A good chunk of this, right? I think it's uh, it's very lush, rocks and spots. Like I said, at nearly 70 minutes, for me, there's probably 10 to 15 minutes that I would have kind of carved out of here uh, to make this a little bit of a tighter album. But, you know, it's a solo album. John, Kudos to John for kind of putting everything into this. Uh, 3.5 out of 5 star. Go check it out. I'll drop the link to the Bandcamp page down below for you to go investigate and see what you think. Very good guitar player. If you're a fan of Uto Unitopia, you're definitely going to want to go check this out. So Dark Blue from John Greenwood. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we get the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thanks in advance for all your support there, and we'll see you soon here with more stuff. I am Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.